Because when we look at the Old Testament, we find the Shema, chapter 6, verse 4. Shema Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad. When you look at the first commandment, chapter 20, verse 3 of Exodus, you find there's no God beside me. So now the question would be is this. A Jew who is acquainted with the Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact... He's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments. He's just confirmed that the Quran is a false book. Because if you go in the Quran, we will find the following. They took their rabbi and their monks or their priest as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah, which means you have to worship Allah and the Messiah. And how dare you to accuse your prophet that he's a liar and not a single rabbi, he said such a thing. Spirits of God hovered over the, uh, hovered over after the God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, no problem. If, if it's, that's meant to be God, no problem. Let's go to Zechariah's in Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 5. There are four spirits. So are there seven gods now? The word Ruach is here in, uh, in Zechariah uh, ch chapter 6 verse 5 talking about four spirits. So tell us why. Uh, if that is a spirit and it's God, then how comes there's only three gods, uh, uh, three persons of God, and, uh, and there isn't seven, for example? This guy is nothing but a scam. Read with me what the Bible says. So I inspired, I, sorry, I inquired of the angel who was speaking to me. What are these, my Lord? These what? The spirit. And the angel told me, These are for the spirit of heaven going out from their station before the Lord of the earth. So they are serving the Lord. Those are not God. Does it say really that it says here that those are the four spirit which are the spirit of God? Why you are lying? That Jesus, this is called the etymology fallacy. That's, you know, he's been referred to as Emmanuel, etc. God is with us. Elijah is also, the word Elijah in the, in the Hebrew language means God is with us. So if, if that makes Jesus God, then Elijah is also a God. This is what the word means. You can go and search in two seconds in any website and you will see that Elijah means Yahweh is God. What God is with us? And you are making fun of David Wood that he didn't speak Hebrew. Obviously, you speak Hebrew very well. And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between Yusalli Lahu and Yusalli Ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four, not to the Prophet. See how stupid he is? He just confirmed that Allah, he pray for the Prophet not to the prophet and supposedly now it's fixed okay let us analyze as long you just admitted that the verse says allah pray for the prophet and allah you be, you must not believe in them in one god allah pray for the prophet he pray to who in allah it is say pray for the prophet there's a difference between praying on and praying to or praying for where it says praying for anyway abdul it says here, Allah, why you are lying to David Wood? Because he doesn't speak Arabic. It doesn't say, it doesn't say for. You are a big fat liar. I've always wanted to do this, yeah? To take a word from Dwayne, the, the Rock Johnson. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> I mean, I am statement. If you look at the New International Version of the Bible, uh, the I am is actually not re re translated as I am, but I will be. <laughs> Abdul, how is going to be translated as uh, I will be? Because if this is what it's been, I will be, it's mean he's not exist. I will be. Abdul, first of all, there is many translation and you can pick up whatever you want. You say, I don't accept the translation of Yusuf Ali. I don't accept the translation of this guy. And in a second, you will see, he himself, he will make a stupid answer. And then later he will say, uh, I said the translator says so. 
And there's a whole discussion on that. And to be honest with you, frankly, I don't even take the Gospel of John to be completely authoritative, and neither do the majority of biblical scholars anyways. 95 AD, it's a long way. 95 AD is a long time. This is why he don't accept it. So how do you accept the Quran? The Muslim until now, they don't have one manuscript of the Quran. Few years ago, they found a manuscript was a gift even from a priest, not even from the Muslims, an Egyptian priest, which is one page and it's different from the Quran today. I think David Wood has said some career ending embarrassing statements today. I mean, to be honest with you. After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. Thank you guys for listening. Please download the video and share it with your friends. And if you have any Muslim who dare to debate us, please feel free. And we will be happy to take him. Take him down the same we took his God, the God of the black stone, the pagan religion who kissed black stone. Even Muhammad, he said that whoever kissed the black stone or he hold or touched the black stone in the, in the Yemeni corner, which is a corner in the Kaaba, Allah will erase his sin and yet they claim they are worshipping God and they are people who believe in monotheism and they believe in oneness of God who is in heaven when they yet they believe that the stones can forgive them and they believe even Muhammad he said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah and how you can how in the world you believe that a stone can erase your sin for touching it unless you are a pagan person you believe in stones and your prophet kisses stones and you go around the stone and you bow down in front of stones and you worship stones because this is always an act of worship yet you speak about the oneness of god my friend your god is a stone who say the most stupid things as an example women have sperm coming from their ribs you have one god you have ten god doesn't matter my friend he is a stupid god the man is sperm coming from the backbone. Your God, Allah, the one you call him one God, he do not even understand. He cannot even remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees. Yet you are proud about him being one God. Well, be happy with the one God. And by the way, the idea of having one God or ten gods is very stupid. Let me tell you why. Because let us say for the sake of argument, somebody he worship, he's a Hindu. He worship 10,000 gods. But they are true exist. Who care about how many they are? Let us say somebody believe that in heaven there's one thousand elephant and we laugh at him and then one day we discover that there is one thousand elephant. It doesn't matter who laugh at him, he's right. So it's very stupid of you to try to make us believe that you are right just because you believe in one God, but we are the one who believe in one God. By the way, the God the, the Egyptian believe in one God. Does that make the Egyptian Muslims? The Pharaoh? <laughs> Stupidity is a must. Thank you very much for watching. Please share the video with your friends. May the Lord bless you all.